Hello YouTube, today we're going to be installing Code Composer along with Starterware on a Windows based PC. So we're going to be using Windows throughout this process. I will also, there's another video that I'm going to be making that will be on Linux, but let's go ahead and get started with Windows. So you can Google it, but um, we're going to go through the web, uh, the TI website because that's probably where you're going to get the, that's about the same thing, but let's just do it through the TI. So we're going to go ahead and go to TI.com. And then from TI.com, we're going to go ahead and click from everything. We're going to switch it to uh, applications. We're going to type uh, code composer. Should already be there, so we'll click it there. And then we'll go ahead and click on, yeah, right here on the side, you'll see something that's called product matches. We're going to click on this one right here. Once you're here, you'll notice that the it says Satara Cortex-A and ARM9. We're using the Cortex-A because of the beagle bone that we're going to be using obviously based on my channel but um, yes it's gonna be the Cortex A it's actually the AM3359 that we have anyways let's go ahead and go to the download so we're gonna click on Windows it's gonna take you through an approval process but I've already got it approved so this shouldn't be uh, too difficult and they always approve you instantly if everything looks legit so like mine right here everything looks looks good we'll just go ahead and download right here and you certify and hit submit I just hit that download button and then you're probably gonna have to click uh, get click here because it's for some reason it did the same thing on the Linux PC and we're gonna save it to our downloads once it's there just go ahead and click on it and it should open give it administrative permission so you gotta give it a moment to start up it's probably looking for connections you know the usual it is highly recommended that real-time scanning be turned off. Okay, so let's, if you're using AVG, something like mine, all you got to do is temporarily disable it by clicking on it. You might have to, if you have Norton, it's usually a pain in the butt, but you can do it. It's usually in the settings. So we'll do that here. I'm just going to disable it for 15 minutes because I can't restart my computer. So it's been disabled right here. You'll get a warning. And then click yes and continue, and you're good to go. So right here, you're just going to accept of course after you have read this one week's worth of reading and then next next and for ours we're going to be using the Satara 32-bit ARM processors and we're going to include the TI ARM compiler we're going to be using this uh, a lot more than the GCC so there's a uh, quite a bit here anyways we're just going to install the Satara we don't need anything else and hit next. And if you, and if you if you don't click on something here, there's a, an app center inside Code Composer Studio where you can install stuff after. So this is dependent on the debugging probes you're going to be using. Um, in my case, I'm not going to be using any at all. I'm just creating the program and putting it on an SD card to install. So that being said, we're just going to leave the default one on there. And then here is, uh, you may need this. I'm, we're not developing Linux. So we're going to be using it like a microcontroller. But I am interested in a GUI and PRU compiler because the BeagleBone comes with the PRU. So we'll hit finish. It's going to ask for permission. I'm going to allow it on both networks and allow. So you'll see right here, you start the download installation. This may take a minute. It's like a 500 megabyte download, something like that. I'm not too sure, but it's, it's, a, it's a pretty decent size. So I'm going to let it download for now. Okay, so we're done in the installation. We're gonna uncheck mark launch. We're if this is uh, your preference. I probably will be using this a lot, so I'm going to uh, leave it on the uh, start menu, actually the desktop. So we'll click finish, and then we're gonna come back over here, and we're going to go back to the ti.com website, and from here we're going to look up products, and we're gonna type the AM3359, which is the processor that comes in the BeagleBone. Uh, you may have an 8, but we're going to be using the 9. 100% honesty, I don't think it makes a difference, but it's it's a good habit anyways. Click on products, go ahead and click on it, and then once you're here, what you're going to do is go to tools and software, software, and here you should see something called the starterware. Yes, right here. Starterware for ARM-based TI Satara processors. 
go ahead and click that and we are using the AM335X. See, it doesn't make a difference which one you have in this case. So we're gonna click Get Software, and again, we're going to hit the Windows Installer. So again, we go through the approval process, hit Yes, and then Submit. And we got approved instantly, so we'll hit Download, and we'll click here to download. Now we're gonna save this again to the downloads folder and just back up. Now, while that's downloading, we're also gonna download the patch for the BeagleBone Black. So we'll hit download and again, put this in the downloads. So that one's a quick download, it's just a simple patch. So we'll wait for this one to finish in the meantime. Okay, so the download is finished. Let's create a, a working directory. So we're going to go, I'm going to make it in my folders here, my my main user folders. And I'm going to type uh, work space. So right there we should have an empty folder. Now we're going to click on the installer here, hit yes, give it permission to run. This one I don't think you need to disable any antivirus. So this will install, yes, go ahead, next, next, I accept, and then right here I'm going to change it. I don't, I want to put it in the workspace folder so that I can have access to it quickly. We're going to go to C, we're going to click on users, then we're going to click on your username, and then here we're going to open up the workspace folder. And I will hit OK, and you'll see that it, now it's set there. We're going to click custom just to verify and you can see there's nothing extra that's going to be installed. Next and let it uh, run its process. It should be quick. It's just transferring files, decompressing and transferring. So we'll hit finish here and we'll open up the next one. See this file is in GZ format and instead of using RyLab we're going to use 7-zip. We'll download 7-zip for Windows on the 64-bit processor. Well, again, we'll save. This one's a quick download. Allow it. Next. I accept. Uh, next. Next. Install. Okay, so once it's there, we'll go to our downloads again because we used a bad program, unfortunately. Give it permission to install. Hit finish. Now, right here, we're going to show in folder because we don't want it to run with RINRAR. And we're going to use 7-zip and open this archive. So you can see 7-zip is, is nice enough to open it for us for free rather than trying to sell us a trial and, you know, a bunch of bull. So now we're going to highlight those files and go to workspace here. And we're going to drop those files in here. You'll see it says, do you still want to merge this folder with this one? in this folder we're gonna hit yes and you're gonna do this for all current items and we're gonna hit yes this is it's gonna find the files that it's actually trying to patch over we're gonna hit uh, well so you can see which ones they are don't check this mark and copy and replace you're gonna see that which ones it's it's uh, patching you see you can see there it's just four files and there you go those four files have been patched. Now you can close this. So let's go ahead and open up Code Composer. And we're going to hit Browse. And we're going to make a new workspace. But this one we're going to name it ARM. ARM underscore workspace. So that we know that we're, everything in there is going to be designed to be used with ARM processors specifically the BeagleBone. It's going to open up to the apps section of the program. It's internet based so it might give you problems if, if it doesn't. You have selected to install add-ons. This is from our TI. I forgot what it was but just hit yes and it should go through pretty easy. As long as you have an internet connection because it's going to try and update and download and and you'll hit yes to restart and hit yes it's going to try and install the software so again 
do the same process. It's been 15 minutes. Temporarily disable. Uh, would you like to continue? Yes. Whoops. My bad. Okay, so we're only going to disable it. This one shouldn't take long, so 10 minutes is, is good. So hit yes. We've disabled it. Uh, give it permission to access the network. It's going to download and install. Okay, so right here, it's already saved our workspace, so we'll hit OK. So there it is. So this is our app center right here where we're going to download all the extras and, you know, all the good stuff. What we're going to want to do is click on Browse Examples. And right here where it says Packages All, click on this little Add Additional Packages. You're going to hit Add, and you're going to want to go to your workspace that we designated as our, our starterware. And we're going to hit OK. And hit OK. And you'll see it's going to update. Now here under workspace, you're going to see all of the sample files that TI has uh, made for this starterware. It's not just sample files. It's uh, like files that we absolutely need in order to compile successfully. So this is pretty straightforward. You, you're like the first one we're going to probably be using is this AM335X, BeagleBone, and GPIO is what we're gonna, probably going to be end up using here. Yeah, right here. So this is an LED blink file. And if you click the import, you'll see that it appears here. And we'll click here to open up the C file, which contains all the program that we're going to be using. You'll see it open up here. So just quickly code compiler, uh, I mean code composer, you double click and it'll open up the file full screen for you. So this is the file, the sample file that they submit for the BeagleBone. So that's Code Composer. You are ready to go with some sample files that have been given to you by TI. You are ready to go and start building. So stay tuned for the next episodes. We're probably going to build the sample file that comes with this one, specifically the GPIO LED Blink. And then we're going to build it and we're going to put it on the BeagleBone to run. Okay, so, all right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. So hit that like button if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next one.